Hello, hello, hello. Cassandra here, aka the Daily Wealth Ninja. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure that you can hear me before I get too far into this training. Um, <coughs> I know this is a little late again. Um, I actually had a client meeting just a moment ago um, that ran a little bit long for my digital marketing coaching. So um, apologies on that, but I am making sure I did this before I go to bed. Hey, Arjun, thanks for showing up. Um, I won't be able to attend the team call because as soon as I'm, I'm done with this, I'm, I, I need to go to bed. Um, but uh, let me make sure that you can hear me. Uh, let me go ahead Perfect. Sure. You, can't, you can't hear me? I can hear me. I'm not sure why you can't hear me. That's strange. Hey, Lexis. Thanks so much for joining. Hey, Corey. Thanks for joining. So I'm going over three charts that every trader should know about. So um, for those of you that are not new to Forex, or excuse me, the, for those of you that are, are new to Forex, if you'd like more information, please do reach out. Um, I have a free five-day basics boot camp that I can give to you. Um, so please be sure to message. I'm going to put it here in the chat real quick. Um, Daily Wealth Ninja over on um, Facebook. Send that page the message 5DBC and you will get um, that free training. So <clears throat> what I wanted to share with you guys today is something about these three charts. So the first one is um, your typical bar chart. So let me go ahead and share my screen. So right now uh, there we go. Okay. So right now, I can't see myself on my phone, so I'll just keep going. Right now, you are looking at what's called a candlestick chart. So for those that are unaware, a candlestick is um, comes from Japan. I don't know the entire history. It doesn't. I just it, it doesn't really matter for this topic today. So these are called Japanese candlesticks. What exactly does that mean? Well. If you were to, let's just say we're going to look at this candle right here, okay? So we have what's called our OHLC, your open, high, low, close. So on a sell candle or a bearish candle, the opening is at the top. The high is at the very tip top of where this wick, these are these long candle um, wicks are called. Uh, this is the high, this is the open, or excuse me, not that one. This is the high, the end of the bottom wick is the low. On a down candle, a sell candle, a bearish candle, this is the open, and the bottom of the candle body is the close. So that is for a sell candle. On a buy candle, for example, this one, Obviously, the high is still the top of the wick. The low is the bottom of the bottom wick. But the open is at the bottom of the candle, and the close is at the top of the candle. So that is how you read a Japanese candlestick. And the um, that is one way to use on TradingView, right? So how do you change that part on TradingView? You choose one of these options here. There's a drop-down button if the one that you are looking for do doesn't show up. But th that would be your candles, your general, normal um, Japanese candlesticks. <clears throat> so from there, if you're looking for the what's called a bar chart, um, you would click the down arrow to choose more, and you would click the bars. Now these look a little different, right? But if you check it out, instead of it having a body right here, right? You have the top of the wick, the bottom of the wick. You have the open of your cell, the close of your cell. And on your buy, you have the open of your buy and the close of your buy. So that's how you read the um, bar chart. Now the line chart um, I use I have used this based off of one of my mentors trainings on um, several different pieces when I'm looking at trades and I did not know what this chart did I did not know what it represented and so I had I went and looked at it and basically every single point on this line is the close 
of the previous candle. So if we were to look right here, for example, we see that the close was 145.224, which is about right over here, right? So that is when that bar closed. So how can we know for sure what this, what this looks like? Well, let's go ahead and add uh, array to that part to 224. Close. So that on the left. So that's where it should be on the close. So if we look at the normal Japanese candlestick, we see that it closed right where we set it to be at. Because the, remember, the buy closes at the top, the sell candle closes at the bottom. So that's what the difference is between your um, Japanese candlesticks, your bar chart, and your um, line charts on TradingView. So that's what I wanted to share with you today because I know, uh, at least for myself, that was kind of frustrating not understanding what that was. Um, and actually, I'm going to be tweaking my strategy a little bit now that I know that. Um, but if you liked what you saw today, please like this video, share it with someone you think should, should hear it today. And um, if you want to join my free group, um, please go to my Facebook page. It should be linked above below this video because on the pinned post is the link to my free group. And if you want to hear more, be sure to turn on live if you're on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button and then the little bell to be notified when that goes live. So thanks so much for watching. <laughs> my name is Cassandra, aka the Daily Wealth Ninja. Every Sunday, and I'm trying to do it more, but every Sunday for sure, I provide a free training on different Forex, um, diff, uh, just tips, skills, tricks, everything, because I firmly believe that everyone should know this skill set. This is not available to the normal person um, prior to 20 years ago when the internet was in, uh, created because it used to be just for the super wealthy, the super rich. And this is something that can change lives if you really learn this skill. So again, past results are not typical and do not guarantee or dictate your future success. I'm simply sharing with you what I'm learning and what I'm using to make better financial decisions for myself, my, fi my, my financial future, as well as for my friends and family. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.